Hey everybody, are you ready? Are you ready to talk mayonnaise, mayo, mayonnaise? Let's do it. Okay, so once you're vegan, um, you obviously are not going to eat any eggs or dairy products anymore, but you still want something to put on your sub sandwich, you still want something to put in your potato salad, pasta salad. So you're not going to be able to give up mayonnaise um, if you prefer mayonnaise or any kind of um, bread on your sandwiches. So um, luckily in 2012, we're living in a day and age where we are able to have a ton of vegan products. And today we're going to have the great vegan mayonnaise showdown. In this corner, we have Earth Balance Original Mindful Mayo Dressing and Sandwich Spread Organic Variety from United Grocery Outlet. In this corner, we have the original Veggie Maze Dressing and Sandwich Spread Egg Free and Gluten Free from Publix for a substantially higher price. So, I um, um, recently just got the Earth Balance. I was a little skeptical because prior I had tried this recipe probably a few years back, even before going vegan, just out of curiosity, had gotten um, one of the other um, varieties. I believe it had a I'm going to say I had a green top, so I don't know what the significance is of that. I, my memory. I'm getting old, guys. But anyway, um, I had bought some at United Grocery Outlet um, on a whim because it was cheap for mayonnaise, um, vegan or otherwise. So I tried it, and I guess they've changed. I want to say they've changed their recipe since then because that um, mayonnaise that I had prior was very runny. Um, it wasn't really a mayonnaise consistency at all. It was very thin and runny. Um, you had to mix it, I felt like, like really like mix it up with like a butter knife or your spoon prior to even dipping it out of the jar because it was just like it was separating, I guess, the oil from the uh, water component as oil and water tend to do. They don't, they don't like each other. I don't know why. And so, anyway, so it, you know, it was also very lemony and um, if you know me personally, uh, which you, you probably, you obviously you don't, but I do not really care for lemony things. Um, lemonade is good. Um, a splash of lemon in a recipe um, in some hummus, that's fine. But I like, do not like lemon things, like especially, especially lemon dessert items. Like, do not bring me a lemon cookie. You can bring me my, gr my great grandmother's lemon pot. I would be okay with that. However, she would have not a clue how to make it vegan. But um, otherwise, lemon is not my thing. And especially lemon and mayonnaise just seems so off. But recently, flash forward, flash forward to 2012, and I think they must have changed their recipe. And I haven't researched that like I should have. But this is much thicker much thicker. I don't know if you can see or tell the difference. Um, we've really hit it up pretty good in the past week with um, sandwich making and whatnot. But it's a lot thicker, not runny, not not flying out of the jar like the other would have been like had spilled onto my keyboard. Computer ruined by now. But yeah, it was a lot thinner. So now it's thick. It's good. You can actually spread it. Um, it still has it does have lemon in it still, lemon juice concentrate, but it's the last ingredient. As you know, uh, product ingredients are listed from highest content to lowest content. So um, the lemon juice, maybe they bumped it down quite a bit, and they also, okay, I'll just read you the ingredients. Here we go. Ready? Expellier press, canola oil, filtered water, brown rice syrup, apple cider vinegar, soy protein, salt, mustard flour, and lemon juice concentrate. Um, most of those are organic ingredients, um, and it does, obviously, like I said, contains soy. So if you're watching the soy, you know you're gonna have to find a different um, way of getting your mayonnaise fix on. Sorry, sorry about that. Um, I'm not totally anti-soy. Um, I feel like I'm not like every day. Like I don't eat a mock meat or a tofu something every single day. So I feel like my soy intake is like not like 
like it's just pretty consistent. It's not just like soy, 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 soy. No, no, like it's just not out of control. Uh, I don't really worry about it though. I'm screen female, but my husband is vegan along with me, so you know the men, the men get a little like iffy on the soy. So um, I haven't noticed any effects of that because, like I said, we do keep it pretty moderate. Um, this is dairy free, egg free, vegan, no preservatives, non GMO, verified. Um, exposed to us and gluten free. Um, you do have to keep this in the refrigerator, obviously, no preservatives, so you're going to find this in the refrigerated section of um, any grocery store, hopefully, <laughs> unless, they, unless they just want us to sit out and ruin it. Ruin! Ruin! Has anybody seen that episode of Family Guy? No. Okay, anyway, so really good um, value at two nineteen at the grocery outlet. So um, I'm going to give this, you know, I don't know what my scale is even. Five stars, four stars, four stars for being um, affordable, um, organic. Uh, what else? Regularly available at the grocery outlets, so that was kind of a surprise. Oh, and for changing the um, recipe, I guess, or changing the method of maybe the blending method is different from before, so the texture is all good now. Okay, and next up in this corner, as I said, we have the original veggies. It's from Follow Your Heart brand, dressing and sandwich bread. It's egg and gluten free. Uh, this stuff actually tried the first time at my parents' house. My parents, I talked about before, they're not vegan. Um, love them, but uh, my dad drives tour buses for different groups, and I think someone on his one of his buses must have been either vegetarian, vegan, or just super health conscious, watching what they ate. So anyway, a brand new drive this ended up getting left on the bus. Um, my parents hijacked it when the tour was over and I had tried it at their house before and this was before becoming vegan. And I was like, oh well it's not really any it's not really any different. Like I don't see like there's really no issue with this. I didn't even know where to even find this once we went vegan. Um, you would think that it would be maybe with the refrigerated salad dressings in the produce section of your grocery store at Publix. At least it's not at mine. You would think it might be over with the mock meats, with the tempeh, with the seitan, with the tofu, with the veggie cheeses, refrigerated. No, it's not there. At least not at my Publix. Where this is hiding out at your Publix, <laughs> at least my Publix in Middle Tennessee, Bless their heart. It is with the organic milks and cheeses, and with the refrigerated um, dairy alternatives with your soy and your coconut and your almond milk. So it's on the top shelf. So if you're kind of like short like me, look up, look up, look up to the veggies, and you'll find it. Um, this is probably I'm thinking it's a good four something if not five something. I'm sorry. I'm bad with numbers, but I ha I did write to the follow your heart people and got a few coupons. So that's been helping me out a little bit. This is the original. They also have one made with um grape grape seed, I believe, and it's like a whole like dollar bar, I guess, because it's a higher quality um oil. The ingredients in this one, ready, set, go. They're vegan, gluten free, dairy free and non GMO. Bare pressed canola, exceller pressed canola oil, filtered water, brown rice syrup, apple cider vinegar, soy protein, sea salt, mustard flour, and lemon juice concentrate contain soy. So basically the same ingredients, which is kind of scary. Um, exact same. So um, high omega 3 non GMO project verified. This one is not organic though. So Gonna give them a little a little bump for not being organic, and I'm gonna give them a little bump for the price, and also for it only being available in the one store in a weird spot. So I'm gonna give them WNA before also, um, just because it is um, you know a little bit more expensive, a little harder to find. Um, it does go like on like a teeny bit of a sale once in a while, so that helps. Um, the texture of this is really the closer to actual mayonnaise, and there's really not any less to show you. I just saved the jar so I can do this video. But it is a lot creamier um, than the Earth Balance one. It does 
come out looking more like traditional mayonnaise. So if you put this in a bowl next to your craft, next to your helmets, next to your dupes, mayonnaise, um, you know, I don't think anybody could really tell the difference just by sight alone. The earth balance will spread out. Um, it's like a little clumpier, but it will spread, you know, with your spreader with your knife with your spoon. So um, it's really not a big deal unless you're just really trying to like pull like a total like trick, like ha ha, you just say vegan mayonnaise. I want somebody then I don't see you know the real need for like worrying about the texture so much. Um, like I said, this one's the original. Keep refrigerated. Don't freeze it. And let's see. Let me do a small nutritional comparison. Um, serving size is one tablespoon. You get 90 calories. 80 of those come from fat. Um, 9 grams of fat. It's basically all the same. So I think it just must have something to do. Oh. The baking aids has a little bit more sodium. Watch your sodium. Um, just a pitch more. And that's about it. No carbs. Yay. So, anyway, um, just make your own decision on whatever's available to you. You may not even be able to find both of these products. Um, there's some other mayonnaise alternatives that I have not even tried yet. Um, if you want to send me some mayonnaise in the mail, I don't, I don't know how that's going to work out, but you can do it. <laughs> I would be willing to try most anything. Um, there's another one that they sell at the store um, that's just on the shelf, and it's the mayonnaise. Uh, mayonnaise. Um, I haven't tried it because on the ingredient list it has listed spice, the word spice. Uh, the thing with spice is that um, they can disguise that into being MSG. Um, if you're not familiar with MSG, um, monosodium glutamate, um, it is not, it's not good for you in my opinion. Um, it gives me a headache, it doesn't make me feel good, they sneak it into a ton of foods. Um, unfortunately, prepackaged foods are notorious for, you know, they might say that they're MSG free on the front of the package, but, you know, they can disguise it under the spice or spices, spice or spices um, category in their ingredient list. And me personally, I'm not trying to rip anybody's recipe off, but if you would just tell me, like, what the spices are, is it oregano, is it paprika? Um, it's kind of scary because, you know, people do have food allergies. Um, luckily, I don't have any severe, you know, um, weed allergies or anything like that that were just like, throw me into full bone like anaphylactic shock or anything, but you know, I could see where that would be scary um, if you were just trying to just eat like a simple diet and you're, you know, you're faced with those challenges of keeping the MSG out. Um, I've talked about my husband having tinnitus, which is a constant chronic ringing in the ear um, for life. There's no known cure, and when he does eat foods with MSG content, it does make his ear ring significantly louder and you know, it's just an annoyance. So, we're really particular. We are label readers. Um, I would encourage you to do the same. I would encourage you to call call these companies up, you know, if you want to know what, what spice is, what is spice, what is my other favorite natural flavor or natural flavors, like what, like what is that? Just, just be honest, be a good company and tell us like what that is because, you know, people are getting sick, if not sicker. Um, my father has Crohn's disease. Um, a lot of things will irritate his Crohn's and exacerbate it, um, the symptoms and signs of that. So um, it's just kind of hard. It's kind of hard to know like who you can trust. But I feel like if a company answers the phone straight up and tells you like, you know, like yeah, that's it's you know it's mushroom powder or it's this or that. Like you make your decision based on that. Um, I wrote to a company recently for a. Um, like a cosmetic product and asked about the the glycerin um, in their products and unfortunately it was from pork and beef tallow aka dead animal fat so at least they were honest and now I know so just try to educate yourself because you know not everything is always as it appears on the label um, I haven't had any ill effects of these two products so I don't know who won out. I'm just telling you my opinion. The great, the great vegan mayonnaise debate of 2012. And like I said, if you all um, have tried any of the other brands of vegan mayonnaise, um, comment down below and let me know because I would love to hear about them. Um, see where I can find them, even um, where I live. Probably won't be able to order them online because they will boil in the heat. Mm. 
So anyway, just let me know um, if you want to keep hearing more of my product reviews and um, all of my um, shopping hauls and that kind of thing. Just subscribe down below and let me know what you think. And I will see you next time. Bye.